Hi everyone, this is Vegas and this video is going to showcase G-I-L-D. Oh my god, what is brewing in the pipeline and all the drama on Gilead? Well, let's get started on this one. Okay, so we're going to actually talk a little bit about Gilead and this is the focus of this video in particular because there's a lot of talk about the stock in the news everyone's talking about it on social media so i figured let's just do a little video on this and i'm going to make this about 10 minutes so hopefully this will kind of give you a feel for what is going on with gilead i want to show you the money going into the stock and help you understand what is all this drama about on gilead what is the hype and excitement about so um, Gilead obviously is a biopharmaceutical company. They help to discover, develop, commercialize medicine in um, a lot of unmet needs. They're very into the life-threatening illnesses. They have operations in like 35 countries worldwide and the headquarters are in Foster City, California. So let's actually go through a little bit about the leadership team just to get a little familiar so you guys can see daniel o'day here he is the chairman and ceo and that's really all who we care about right now because he's the one that's been in the media constantly you can see that um, he used to work at roche for more than three decades by the way and so he was a member of the corporate executive committee and obviously he's from columbia university and so that's kind of give you a little background of him and you can see what he looks like. So if you go on Gilead's website, G-I-L-E-A-D.com, all you have to do if you ever want to check out what is in a biotech company's pipeline. You know, the pipeline is really to kind of show you what are they really working on. So you basically go to the science and medicines tab, click the drop down and you'll get a link here for the pipeline. And the pipeline is broken down into several sections. They have viral disease, inflammatory, fibrotic, and oncology. So you can just actually scroll down and they'll actually give you for the viral diseases, what is the actual treatment and what phase they're in. So in this biotech sector in general, with all these biotech stocks that are out there, there's so many phases. There's sometimes the pre clinical trials then there's the phase one two three and sometimes there's even a phase four but normally there's phase one two and three and a preclinical as well so you can see here that this company gilead is working on many things i mean look what they're doing they're working on hiv cures they're working on the remdesivir covid19 for the coronavirus which is a hot topic and that's what we're going to focus on tonight. Um, also, they also are working on inflammatory diseases for people that have arthritis. They're working on Crohn's disease. I mean, look, there's so many things in phase three. They're working on colitis. They're working on psoriatic arthritis. They are working on many other fibrotic diseases. They're working on NASH. You can see everything. They're doing oncology. I mean, they are involved in many, 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 many drugs and treatments. And they're obviously a massive company. But the big news right now, okay, that's affecting everybody in the world is the coronavirus. And is there a treatment? Is there a cure? So let's talk about what's going on with remdesivir and what is the drama that's been in the news. So one of the things I want to show everyone here. Uh, especially, you know, a lot of people, sometimes they hear about a stock, they hear that there's news, maybe you don't subscribe to a news service and you're interested to find out like, what is the news? You just basically go to the company's website. So in this case, the Gilead.com, and then you go to news and press and it'll bring you down here to a, um, a menu. And then I just went here and clicked on the news and I have press releases under newsroom. And I can see everything going on by the date. So we're going to go back here to um, as early as April 21st. You'll see that there was some news that uh, they're partnering with Onco, which is a leader in cancer immunotherapy. And they're going to be working on a collaboration to help support objectives to develop novel cancer therapies for patients. 
And so you can see that that company in particular has more than 20 years of collective academic expertise. And they believe that having a collaboration is going to help bring their unique screening techniques into um, to serve the common goal for discovery of new treatments for patients. And that was news that was released on April 21st. So I'm just showing you here on my trade exchange dashboard all the news I get about guilt. And you can see that on the 23rd, I did get the news here. Sorry, on the 21st, uh, exactly like the press release, I does have the information here about their collaboration with Onco. Then you could see that there were May calls being bought. Guild was on new highs a couple days later. And then look what happens on April 23rd. The stock gets um, social media attention saying that the drug has failed. This is the drug with regards to the corona virus COVID-19, the drug called remdesivir, that it flopped in a randomized clinical trial, according to who at the who. I mean, all of a sudden, um, Gilead went crazy on a downtick and all these panic sellers or stop losses got triggered. Then they said that um, uh, due to the study being terminated because of low enrollment, it was underpowered to enable statistically meaningful conclusions. And um, Guild apparently called results inconclusive and that the trends in the data suggest potential benefits on patients treated early. Then Gilead was new lows. Then the WHO saying that the report's undergoing peer review. And then the next day, City <laughs> saying that there's a success rate of 50-50. You know, Jim Cramer even talked about Gilead on um, Friday. I mean, this is just a crazy stock. I mean, let me show you, first of all, what's going on with the money flow, because at the end of the day, you got to look at the money flow. It's so important. So let me show you something. Okay, so I just want to show you guys here that you can see that even before all that drama happened, um, there's a lot of actual stock being purchased of Gilead. I mean, look at this, 1.4 million shares, $113 million. That's a massive trade. I'm going to show you guys also the option flow going on. So you can see here on this screen, I am actually showing you guys all these different option contracts. I've actually pulled up everything from January 1st, 2020 up to including uh, April 29. And you can see that a lot of these expiry dates on these contracts with Gilead, I mean, they obviously have some for May, but uh, you know, most of the majority I'm looking at a lot for June. Uh, quite a lot for July, a lot for August. Here's the dollars. And then we have a whole bunch for January 2021 because they're expecting news on what's going on with this company. So as you can see here, when that shit show came out with all that drama, I mean, the stock tanked and went to $74.40. You're like, what the F just happened here? Um, and then the market actually had a downtick too that day. I was like so pissed off because I was like having a great day and then all my other contracts were pulling back and all because of this coronavirus potential drug. So it just like pissed me off that day. So anyhow, as you could see, Gilead pulled back and then look what happens the next day. It opens at 77.10, high of Dave, $80. And then look what happened on Monday, 79.90, $80 high of day, Tuesday, um, seventy nine eighty nine high of day eighty dollars and look at this, opens at eighty three ninety seven and eighty five dollars high of day. So you know what? Do not listen to fake news and do not listen to the crap you hear on social media, because here's the thing: if Gilead had something um, material to share, the stock would have had to be halted, news pending, and the CEO should have and would have responded to the public. So let me show you something. So here's an open letter from the chairman and CEO. I showed you his picture earlier, Daniel O'Day. He's just really talking about 
how um, the past few months they've been waiting for anticipation with regards to being able to speak about remdesivir and that um, they knew that their clinical trials would be the answer. Whether is it safe? Is it effective for COVID-19? And he mentioned that they finally have some answers. You know, he said that the results are positive. Uh, they show that patients with COVID-19 who did receive remdesivir recovered faster than patients who received placebo. He said there is still more work to do and that remdesivir has not been approved, but that everyone at Gilead is humbled by the results that it could mean for patients. And obviously that they have a lot of work to do with the team. Uh, they did mention that they have started long before they knew about the coronavirus going on and that um, they have been studying the impact with regards to hemorrhagic fever viruses like Ebola. And, you know, since January, they've been working day and night to determine if this drug can work with patients with COVID-19 and including efforts with collaborations with investigators, governments. And today they're saying that maybe this drug can play a role in easing the burden of the pandemic, which is what everyone hopes is possible. So this is what's going on here. You know, you, you can go to the website and read the rest of the letter. I don't want to go through the whole thing because then we'll be on this video for 20 minutes. But here's the thing. This company, as I showed you earlier, has so much in the pipeline. It's not just this Corona drug, but this is a hot, hot topic. So you definitely cannot overlook what is going on with this company. Um, also, just to mention that, you know, they don't know um, yet where Gilead would price the remdesivir once authorized for emergency use is what they were mentioning one of the analysts at SunTrust uh, speculation that it could cost $10,000 per day for a 10 day course, not a 10 day course to learn how to do take the, but you know, if someone maybe, I guess a thousand dollars a day would be the cost of the drug. So, um, is what they're saying, not the company, but the analyst. And so, uh, you also see that Dr. Fauci says that the data reminds him of when progression was made on HIV. So I think this is really good to hear. And also they are in talks with the FDA and looking to work with them to collaborate, to be able to release this to patients quickly. Um, you know, we're also seeing some activity on the put side um, earlier here mentioned activity on the bid side. So maybe they're selling off selling these puts and buying calls. So, you know, they're supposed to have a press conference as well, uh, waiting for additional information on the Gilead. But you know what? Gilead is a good company, a good stock. You just got to cut the news and just focus on what is this company going on. And the bottom line is this, this company, as I showed you earlier, has many many things in the pipeline, as you can see. Okay. They're working on oncology, fibrotic diseases, inflammatory and viral. And they have so many of these things in the pipeline that in are in bigger phases. You can see them phase two, three, and some of them in phase one. But the fact that they're in phase three on so many other drug testing is just fantastic. So this company, I will say full disclosure, I am long on option contracts and I do believe that there's a lot of potential with this company. It does have the highs and lows where the stock will run up and then pull back and run up. This is why it's really important to take um, an expiry date on the option contracts if you're trading them on the options angle to something further out. So I hope this video has kind of helped you have a little bit of an overview of what is going on with Gilead. And uh, maybe it's something for those of you that like longer term contracts or like something for a swing trade. Uh, a lot of potential going on with Gilead. It's not going to be the last time that we see it on the news. We are going to hear more and more and more about this company. I actually will not be surprised to see if this stock goes to over $100 in the coming sessions. So keep Gilead. 
um, on your watch list, maybe something, do your own due diligence. You have the website here. You can read about it, research the company, look at their earnings reports, look at their financials, see what's going on. And you can decide for yourself if this is the kind of stock or option that you want to invest in or trade. On that note, hope you learned something tonight. Have a great evening and talk to you soon.